Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, I uh, hope you're all doing well. In this one we're going to be taking a look at this, my upgraded towards Dr. Sonic screwdriver. Uh, you can see it's sitting there in a really nice looking stand, which we'll also be taking a look at. Uh, but later on, we'll start off with the screwdriver. Uh, as, as, as you've probably noticed already, it looks very similar to the character options from Doctor's second Sonic screwdriver. And, uh, and, well, and that's because it is. It is one of them. One of these. Super size. Exactly the same. The only different being is I've done a few upgrades to this one to make it a bit more accurate looking to the screen used prop in my opinion. So we'll start off with looking at this one. So I'll just actually say now that I have got two of these. One of them here without sound and one of them here with sound. They both received the same upgrade so other than one having sound and one not having sound, they're exactly the same. So, yeah. I wanted one without sound, so it would be a bit more closer to the part because obviously the ones that they use on the show, they don't have sound on, so. Yeah, yeah it's totally not because I broke the speaker by accident. Yeah. Anyway, uh, starting off with the top of the screwdriver, You'll see one of the first upgrades there is I have extended the acrylic rod section so it sticks out a bit further than it does on the standard relief, which I will bring in now. So, so this is just a normal one that you would get out the box. You know, the switch goes back. This has not been upgraded at all. The only difference between this one and the one in the box is that this one has been taken out of the box and I've literally just done that now so so yeah so if we compare the standard release to the upgraded one without any sound that's what we're doing now should have said so yeah so we start off at the top and you'll see the acrylic red there sticking out a lot further uh, and I did that mainly because on one of the props that they use on the show it does that one or two of the props or all of them I don't know, not sure but just that little bit further makes all the difference I think and the next thing you'll probably notice is I've added a screw to the back a little hex head screw there the same as the ones that are on the screwdriver I uh, did that because again the prop has a screw on the back there so that's why I did that doesn't really do anything, it's just screwed into the plastic there. But, but yeah. Uh, the next upgrade that you'll notice there is I have flipped the claw section around. So on the upgraded one here, the smaller pins are at the front and the larger pins are at the back. And I did that because again on the prop, well on the prop it doesn't have large large side of the pins both both sides are small so to have it looking more accurate at the front I decided to put the smaller ones to the front so yes so yeah and the final upgrade that you probably definitely noticed throughout the video is the switch modification where you can just switch it on in you know and it will stay in any position you don't have to hold it which I think is definitely the best modification out of all of them it definitely makes it a lot closer to the prop because on the props you don't have to hold the switch you can like I said you can just put it in any position and it stays on disco mode yeah so yeah so the four the four modifications the four upgrades whatever you want to call them I think they definitely improve the Sonic overall, make it a lot better. They, 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 they put the toy to its full potential, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, it's really good. Just to go over them there, we've got 
a screw in the back of the emitter section. We've got the flip cage section. We've got the extended acrylic rod at the top and the switch rod. So, yeah, definitely, you know, relatively easy to do these upgrades. The hardest one is probably the switch modification, and I would say that that is that isn't even that difficult to do. So, if you've got a screwdriver and you're brave enough, yeah, give give the upgrades a go, try them out. Um, I've got the switch modification video out on my channel already that I did a few years ago when the screwdriver first came out, so you can go and check that out. And you know, I'm sure if enough of you, um, uh, a lot of you guys want me to do it, I'll do a tutorial on on how to upgrade this one. So I'll show you guys how to actually extend the rod and etc. etc. You know, I'll upgrade this one. So yeah, definitely worth doing. We'll just take a quick look at the stand. So this is the Rubito Replicas 11th and 12th Doctors Sonic Screwdriver TARDIS Docking Port. I guess I've got that right. Don't put the hair on there, lovely. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice stand. It's got some real nice weight to it. It's made out of aluminium or aluminum if you're over in America. And uh, yeah, he made a few of them, I think last year or the year before. He's done them in aluminum and he's now doing them in a 3D printed kit form, uh, which looks really nice as well. So it comes with a few, well it comes with one insert, so you can either have this one, or can you guess, the 12th Doctor screwdriver, or you can have the 11th Doctor insert for the 11th Doctor's toy. Uh, and then without the inserts in at all, it can fit the 11th Doctor One Company remotes and the Custom Sonics, you know, it can, can fit quite a lot of screwdrivers, probably not all of them, it doesn't fit the 10th Doctors, but it's not for the 10th Doctor, it's for the 11th Doctor. So, yeah, it's a really nice stand, and I would definitely recommend getting Either one of these, I don't actually think they sell these ones anymore, but they sell the 3D printed kit, so definitely recommend that. And yeah, so if you guys want me to make a video showing you how to do it and upgrades, I can do that, just let me know. And that's everything, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, I hope you're all doing well out there in this crazy time. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.